prism is 2,058 centimeters cubed. The length of the prism is three times the width. The height of the prism is 14 centimeters. Find the other dimensions. Now, this is a rectangular prism. It is a 3D figure which has two rectangular bases, one on the top and one on the bottom, which is the dotted line and this rectangle. Now, let's first list down the information that states in the problem. It says, the volume of the rectangular prism is equal to 2,058 centimeters cubed. So, the volume is equal to 2,058 centimeters cubed. 2,058 centimeters cubed. Now, the problem that the length of the prism is three times the width. So the length is equal to 3W. Now, underneath the length, let's write something else. The width is equal to unit. So the length is equal to 3W, which is equal to three units. Three units. Now, in order to find the other dimensions, we need to find the area because the other dimensions are the length and the width. And the way we can find the length and the width in this problem using the information that is given in the problem is finding the area and then finding the length and the width. So, before we find the area, let's write down that, well actually, before we write down that, we need to write down that the height is equal to 14 centimeters. The height of the prism is 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters. Now, as I said earlier, before we find the area of this prism, we need to write down that the volume is equal to the area times the height. So this means that the area is equal to the volume over the height, which is equal to the length times the width. The length times the width. Now, let's find the area by doing the volume over the height. So, the area is equal to 2,058 centimeters cubed. So, the area is equal to volume over height. So, the area is equal to Let's write this a little lower. The area is equal to 2,058 centimeters cubed. So 2,058 over the height, because the area is equal to volume over the height, and the height is equal to 14 centimeters. So, over 14. Now, 2058 and 14 are both divisible by 2. 2058 divided by 2 is equal to 1029. Let's put a little black line here. Is equal to 1029. And 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. 1029 divided by 7 is equal to 147 centimeters squared. 
So, this means that the area is equal to 147 centimeters squared. So, the area is equal to the area is equal to 147 centimeters squared. 147 centimeters squared. Now, as we have written, written down, the area is also equal to the length times the width. So this means that the area is equal to the length, which is the length, which is three units times the width, which is one unit. So the area is equal to three units times the width, which is one unit. Three units times unit is equal to three units squared. So this means that three unit squares squared is equal to 147 centimeters squared because three units squared is equal to the area and 147 centimeters squared is also equal to the area. So it's equal to 147 centimeters squared. Now this means that unit squared is equal to 147 divided by 3 because 3 units squared divided by 3 is equal to unit squared. So 147 divided by 3 is equal to 49. So unit squared is equal to 49. So this means that unit is equal to 7 because the square root of 49 is equal to 7 and the square root of unit squared is unit. So unit is equal to 7. Now, we haven't solved our problem yet. We need to find the other dimensions of this rectangular prism. The other dimensions of the rectangular prism are the length and the width. We need to find the actual measurements of the length and the width. Now, the length is equal to the length is equal to three units. And unit is equal to 7. So the length is equal to 3 times 7, which is equal to 21 centimeters. So the length, the length is equal to 21 centimeters. The width is equal to, now, the width is equal to unit. And we know that unit is equal to 7 centimeters. So, the width is equal to 7 centimeters. So, the width is equal to 7 centimeters. So, the length of the length of this rectangular prism is 21 centimeters and the width of this rectangular prism is 7 centimeters. Today we learned about measurement word problems. Thank you for watching this video.